It's day one of chemotherapy for seven-year-old Carson Collier. To know Carson is to know that he is a fighter. Walking into the St. Jude's Clinic at Huntsville Hospital, wearing a bright smile. Everything is good so far. Just need to get the treatment started and, and get him back to being the Carson that we all know and love. Just over a month ago, Carson was diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma. He was taking a shower one night, kind of saw that one of his testicles was larger than the other. So uh, we went to the doctor and got an ultrasound done. The doctor referring the family to St. Jude's in Memphis. The tumor was removed and a harsh reality followed. I was shocked. Uh, me and his mother both were shocked. But instead of sharing with Carson fear or worry, the family just refers to his cancer as sickness and that the medicine is going to make him stronger and better. And his favorite thing right now is saying when I'm healthy. So we're just praying for good health. On Wednesday, Carson began chemotherapy. The entire Athens community, an army of yellow and gold. Keep up fight, Carson. We Those are the strong. colors of childhood cancer awareness. He's like a bubbly seven year old who loves football, basketball, baseball, and LeBron James. Carson's father is the director of the Athens Boys and Girls Club, his second family, supporting Carson as the family embarks on their toughest journey yet. This is somewhere Carson comes every day, and we just want to support him through the journey. Everyone in Athens and beyond, Carson Strong. Carson Strong! God is a healer and a way maker. The Collier family is asking for prayers as Carson continues his treatments. They say he'll be back on the field and on the court in no time. If you want to know how you can financially help the family, head to our website, waytv.com. Reporting in Athens, Olivia Schuler, Way 31 News.